I also think that some of your other acquirers that have niche markets, like you know your restaurants, hospitality, SMBs, um, they could potentially offer fraud services. Thank you so much for, for joining me here today. Really excited to talk to you about the merchant acquirer market, especially in North America. What can merchant acquirers do to try and help offset some of those low, low margins? I think it, they're going to have to start thinking about going beyond payment processing and just getting the fee per transaction. They need to start doing the value added services, maybe start doing some you know, insights and intelligence um, marketing, you know, being able to provide them marketing insights on what their merchants are doing maybe be able to go back into a rewards program and offer some rewards programs through their merchants and the merchants that they sponsor into the, the schemes. So that might be uh, some areas that they can do. I also think that some of your other acquirers that have niche markets, like you know your restaurants, hospitality, SMBs, um, they could potentially offer fraud services. You maybe expand that area in the organization and maybe build up a consulting side of, from a fraud perspective. I guess if we look at Brazil, we've seen picks and instant payments kind of come out. We've seen it a little bit more in, in, in Europe now. Um, and again, in APAC, you know, what types of payments are you seeing in, in the US? So, um, you know, the US has the largest amount of POS devices in the world. So that's why they were so long to get to the chip card. We always were criticized for not, uh, you know, having the chip cards, but and if you look at the cost of actually putting a POS device in all of those merchants, it's astronomical. So um, I do not see alternative payments adding to um, at the POS terminal direct. Uh, you might see it definitely online. You're seeing the BNPLs, the buy now, pay later options, but they're partnering with third parties to allow that activity to take place. I can see that happening. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if account-to-account -account payments, like your Venmo's or your PayPal's um, and wallets, it, will there be some options within the wallets um, at the merchants, you know, for the acquirers? Um, and maybe there's something that they can work through with those wallets, you know, as the banks are really trying to drive more business through their online banking accounts um, and having their customers use those instead of cards. Um, I still don't think in the U.S. you're going to get the, the lack of card activity. I know it's going down globally, but I think us in the U.S., the, the consumers are so used to the protections that credit cards um, provide them that um, I, it might be a, a quite a while before the card volumes actually go down.